Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absolute Care Health Clinic. Today we're uh, talking about uh, male pattern thinning, female pattern thinning, and particularly um, how it's related to hormones uh, in your food. So when we're looking at pattern thinning, it's something that happens you know, in the recessions. We've got a picture here of someone's recession. Uh, we always look at the entire head, so we determine what's happening in the terminal area, which sometimes is not functioning properly, and then we look is it pattern thinning as a um, the first problem or is it a secondary problem? Either way, if we find that pattern thinning is there, it's a gradual miniaturization, so it is not hair loss. So just be careful to remember it's not hair physical fall, physically falling out, it's being squeezed, so it's a miniaturization. And you can see these little hairs here. So this pattern thinning can be triggered by hereditary factors, hormonal factors, environmental factors and we have got this thing today called the free radical effect. So I'm finding we've got people whose hair cycle is disturbed, they have physical hair loss because they might have low ferritin or low vitamin D or low B12 or they're stopping starting medications, all these sorts of things and then we have this secondary pattern thinning. So there's no hereditary actual factors yet they have the pattern thinning. So when we want to look at the other reasons, it's the hormones. Now hormones are in your food, particularly animal products. So we don't say don't eat the animal products, but you must be looking for hormone-free food. So for your beef, it should be labeled grass-fed. Your poultry, it should actually state on there hormone-free. Now you can get these things in the supermarket and they are reasonably priced. You just have to read the labels. For your eggs, it should stay organic. Now, free range means flappy wings. You know, RSPCA approved, it just means the conditions the chickens live in. It tells you nothing about the diet of the chickens. So most of the chickens are eating the grains and then there's antibiotics and the hormones and it goes on and on. Fish needs to be wild caught. A lot of people are eating salmon and barramundi. They are farmed. Now, when they're farmed, they are feeding them hormones and then antibiotics. So you just YouTube farmed fish and you'll see what I mean. Uh, and your pork and lamb, uh, they should actually state they're organic because there's no sort of other labeling. Now this is a big, big, big thing. So make sure you do go hormone free uh, with your animal food. For our vegetable food, I don't sort of say organic, but GMO is a big thing to avoid. Now the one thing that we know is GMO, genetically modified, is gluten. Get off the gluten. Dairy should be organic as well, and that man-made sugar is not good for anyone. Okay, so the food that you eat in the environment that you live in does play a big part on this pattern thinning. So I hope that helps. And as always, if you've got any questions or concerns and you want help with a diagnosis, I help in Brisbane, but I can also help all over the world. Email me, my email is info at Thank you.